Hey, what's going on? Builders Crow Sama here. And I know what you're thinking. Papa Crow, why are you reviewing this trash default two-star mobile suit? Well, you know what? I honestly think that even two stars sometimes need a little love. Are they always going to come out on top? Are they always going to be good, average, top tier? No. And in this case, yeah, it's not. Uh, but I still want to cover it because, for one, you know, why not? Two, I wasn't going to review anything else today. It was, I really wasn't planning to put a video out. So I was like, man, eh, put something out and see if y'all enjoy this. Three, because I really want to delete these parts from my actual storage so I can make space for, you know, the goose on and everything else. Uh, but yeah, you know what? Let's just take a look at it aesthetically first. Now, aesthetically, I think it looks beautiful. And what is it? Well, it's the Gel Gelgoog uh, Jaeger. It's such a weird, weird name. But yeah, the Gelgoog Jaeger. I think it is a very, very beautiful mobile suit. Um, to be honest, it's one of those, like, I don't know, it's very stylized. I love the pink, I love the brown. Uh, one of my, like, I would say it's one of my, no, nah, I'm not going to say favorite, because uh, I have a lot of mono eyes I really am more keen to. Uh, but it's one of those mono eyes suits that I think is just very, um, kind of underappreciative. Uh, I don't really see too many people talking about this mobile suit. I, don't, I mean, I've only seen a high grade, an old high grade at that of this kit. And I think they did some P Bandai uh, releases, but for the most part, I don't think there's even a uh, master grade of it. But hey, let's go ahead and start taking a look at the parts. So we're starting off with the head. Uh, the head unit is, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to talk about stats, guys. Like, look, max value, the stats aren't really there. Like, it has halfway decent shot attack, um, but really everything else is going to be not good and that's to be expected because it is a default two star uh you know mo like mobile suit so why am i really going to compare this with a you know four star in terms of stats uh, i'm not but i will say that you know the shot attack is actually halfway decent for the head uh but what we're really taking a look at is going to be word tags and the ex skill uh we'll take a look at the word tags completely after we review all the uh different parts and the weapon uh but first let's take a look at the ex skill so this is going to be your head mountain Vulcans. Uh, that, you know, these parts are going to be really easy to get to level 10 because you're going to get them through the banners and you're going to get quite an uh, abundant amount of them. Hopefully you do. Um, or I guess hopefully you don't because, yeah, you don't really want a bunch of greens. Uh, but yeah, the head mounted Vulcans, uh, I mean, it does what it does with every other Vulcans. Uh, it basically lowers the hit enemies melee and shot defenses by 14%. Now, this isn't bad. Uh, obviously, there's, you know, default four stars. It's going to do this way better and it's going to have better stats. Um, but these Vulcans, I'm, I'm really starting to appreciate them a little bit more. Because combine this with like a buff uh, EX skill, then combine it with, you know, a, like an awakening, like a, a transam or a hyper mode. Um, you're going to increase your attack and then you're also going to decrease your enemy's uh, defenses. Uh, so that way, whenever you do your overkill damage in the arenas, you're really going to be doing a lot of overkill. So the head mount of Vulcans, you know, honestly, I'm starting to look at them in a different light. I think they're actually... They're all the same, but, you know, they're not horrible as far as the EX skill. They have their purpose. Now, of course, we're looking at the body. Uh, I really love the body unit in terms of aesthetics. I think it's just a really cool uh, body unit. Uh, but let's take a look at the parts trade. So, supporter job, which is very unique. I don't really see myself ever, like, I wouldn't see this as a supporter MS. This would look like a long distance or even a mid-range shooter. So, but it says supporter job, buff EX skill time up 12%. So, buff EX skill time up uh, 12%. It's not buffing um, the skills like cooldown. It's the, the way they have this word it is really weird and it's like a, it's like a mistranslation of some type. But it's like it should be like buff type EX skills. It's, it should be something like that, not buff EX skill time. Because um, it needs to be like brackets or something to show you what kind of uh ex skill so maybe put like buff in uh you know hyphens or something like that i don't know but it's, it's a buff ex skill so like the sumo's head that is a buff ex skill now the duration is what is being increased so that duration time uh which i think is like 50 something seconds at max is uh 12 percent so you're gonna get a 12 percent increase on that like 51 seconds now, what do I think about this? I think this could be useful, but I've, I'm have i pretty sure I've seen this um, in a different mobile suit. So, I'll have to take a look, but it, it could have a purpose. Uh, but as of right now, I don't really see it being good. 
if you're you know uh, in the in the arenas like this isn't going to be beneficial whatsoever in my opinion uh, but this would be good maybe for uh, whenever the co-op comes out could be beneficial but obviously if you're running with a Gelug Jaeger um, might be bad so uh, I don't really see this being too beneficial to be honest so we're taking a look at the arms obviously it's going to you know try and emphasize on that melee attack but yeah, it's not really going to be reaching any kind of um, intimidating, you know, feats. But let's take a look at the EX skill. So the EX skill is going to be Beam Spot Gun. Category is going to be Beam Shot. Uh, piercing is going to be B+. Power is going to be D. So the piercing isn't horrible. I mean, B+, isn't like, like, oh my god, it's, you know, horrible, horrible skill. Um, you know, I'm not really going to try and compare it with anything else. Um, but yeah, the piercing isn't bad. And you can always buff that up through other traits. Uh, then you got magazine of 11, which isn't uh, bad whatsoever. Cooldown initial is obviously going to be immediately, and then cooldown is after you use all 11 is going to be 60 seconds. That's pretty high up there, but uh, yeah, all it is is just you know doing some beam shots out of your forearm, and that's really about it. So uh, pretty good. Um, I, I, you know, obviously would maybe prefer um, something a little bit better because you would expect that these EX skills would be a little bit better on such a weaker unit. Uh, instead of having not only weak stats, but also having weak EX skills, they should at least, you know, compromise a little bit. Like, okay, hey, we understand this mobile suit is going to have weak stats. Let's just beef up these EX skills and these traits a little bit more, so that way they can have a little bit of usability. And now moving on with legs, so yeah, average stats. Uh, with machine gun category equipped, special shot power boosted 18%. So machine gun category is obviously any um, you know long distance weapon that is a machine gun type, and you can see that through the icons uh, on the part. And then you you see special shot. So special shot is when you hold that firing button if you are one of the uh, the different types, which is fairly conflicting because you're gonna have machine gun category equipped with special shot power. Uh, special shot power, to my knowledge, and I'll, I'll double check this. But it is through the mid and long range uh, pilot license. But then you also have support license trait in here. And it's kind of like, well, you want it to be a support type or do you want it to be a mid or long range shooter? So it's a little bit weird why they have it like that. But uh, yeah, like I mentioned before, definitely go all the way when you're doing, um, like with this mobile suit, go with a probably long or mid range shooter. And we'll take a look at the backpack. So it says middle shooter job. So now. It's really specifying that, hey, you should be a middle shooter. Um, but Veneer, uh, or Vernier, uh, recovery rate boosted 12%. So that's not really horrible. Um, you know, obviously getting some of that boost uh, recovered, you know, when you're sidestepping and all that is actually pretty beneficial. Uh, mostly in PV, I would say PVE, PVP, or I guess like PVE, you know, AI. Um, I don't see that being too much of a, uh, of a benefit as of right now because I'm not really doing any sidestepping. I'm just kind of like walking. <laughs> Uh, so I'm not using any kind of uh, veneer uh, or vernier, but yeah, I guess it's it's not horrible. But once again, I'd like to see how this can play an effect in future, you know, like modes and features. And we'll take a look at the large beam machine gun. So the one thing I do kind of like about the machine guns is you you can do multiple different damage. Uh, so it's like it's it's a DPS kind of damage, and there's a lot of traits that say increase, you know like shot attack damage by x amount maybe it's about like you know 30 by 50 and if it's one individual attack like a beam rifle the extra like 50 damage doesn't really do anything but with something like this with a with a machine gun it's gonna you know do that 50 damage with each individual round drastically increasing that overall dps so that's something i really would like to uh kind of look into a little bit more is like how can that be incorporated into a machine gun but right now, I don't think there's any like really good top tier machine guns, so we're kind of just working with what we got. Now for the parts traits, with machine gun category equipped, uh, special shot power boosted 18%. So I will be showing you exactly what this means and you know exactly what the boost is going to be. But um, yeah, I mean 18% on top of another 18% is fairly good. Okay, and lastly, I I've already put on some of the weapons I'm going to use for uh, just showing it in the battle. Uh, but the word tags it has is mostly going to be mid-range, so you're going to activate mid-range ASAP with uh, all of its default equipment. Uh, but you are going to have the Xeon, so I'll show you what Xeon does. Raises melee defense 10% while active, so that's really good if you are going to have more of a defender type unit. But with this being uh, very specialized in the long distance, especially the middle shooter, uh, we're really going to want something that's going to focus a little bit more on the firepower. And next you're going to have is going to be Commander. 
which is a raised shot attack and beam resistance 5% while active. So that's really good as well. Um, you know, I, I was going to try and activate it, but for the most part, like if I would have did that, I would have been, I think, an, an outfighter. So I really didn't want to activate Commander just, you know, for the sake of, uh, of activating it. So, uh, yeah. All right, here we go. So it only has one actual um, skill. So that's going to be the beam shot. Yeah, so that's... That's kind of it. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah, it's just an arm cannon. Oh. And we got one last one. So that's going to take quite a while. I'm just going to go in there with the attack. Oh, that was it. But, yeah, I mean, not really much to showcase, to be honest. Okay, so we're back. And... Honestly, just for fun, I really didn't do much to this thing. Um, I went and just gave it a pretty nifty little paint job. I uh, gave it some different little weapons. Uh, I changed the head to the Gibera. I changed the body to the Sumo. And then I changed the backpack to Shards too. Uh, so I really just kept the main machine gun and the hands and the uh, legs all the same. GN uh, Beam Saber and the GN Shield. As well as kept the, uh, the pilot you know, the same. Uh, really just didn't really emphasize on anything. Uh, the Gibera is just really bad so I, I i didn't want to like overkill it with giving it some like default four stars uh so i kind of gave it you know kind of like an average uh three star um even ortega is not a default four star so uh, everything here is easily obtainable and it's not i'm not saying that this is going to be a very top tier mobile suit but if you just want to have fun this is something you could experiment with uh experiment with so um yeah i'm going to try and do oh i am going to be doing the uh, machine gun uh special attack and should be doing some pretty decent damage. Uh, this, the with speed attribute, which it is speed attribute, the X skill piercing is going to be boosted 13% based on the uh, Zaku 2's backpack. Uh, so that's just increasing that B plus uh, for the arms because if you uh, knew, the beam spot is going to have a piercing of B minus as well as a power of D. So just want to increase that piercing attack and you know just deal a little bit more damage. All right, jumping right in. Uh, so I'm going to hold the, uh, well, yeah, so I'm going to hold this. And yeah, that should give us more damage. This is a level one after all. Damn, so got that one. And we do have the defense hack, so, or barrier hack. So that should be lowering the, uh, the shot attack. I don't know why I went for that. So yeah, if you want to deal some more extra damage. Oh no, we're getting attacked. Bam. So it's kind of, eh, I would say it's, it's a little bit of a boring build. And there we go. But, I mean, like I said, it's it's something to do. <laughs> if uh, if you really just want to play around, this is why I really would love to have a, uh, a training mode. Because I would like to have fun in this game. Just like doing some weird stuff, you know, not really, you know, trying to be overly serious. And then we got this. Oh no, let's get out of there. And we're gonna activate our ability. Oh no, 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 no. Too close for comfort. Alright, so we got that one down. They need to calm down, man. Alright. No, 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 no. Oh, get out of there, my boy. There we go. All right, try and stun. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is looking so bad. All right. Oh, my God. We're in danger, my boys. We're not looking too good. Oh. There we go. Come on, recharge and. Small. Sm oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Just dealing a little bit small damage here and there. So, yeah, this is like the most boring content you've probably ever seen in your entire life. Um, oh, there we go. So, we finally got this. And that was our savior. We was. Ooh, we were surviving with a sliver of health. Um, yeah, not really much else to say about this mobile suit. I just wasted 10 energy doing this video. Um, man, I don't know. It just—it was fun. I—I I, I think, I think 
relaxing a little bit more with this, with these builds is something that's going to make you have a little more enjoyment with the game. Um, I have almost every single part in terms of uh, I have unlocked uh, all the collectibles for everything that's uh, default four and below. No, sorry, default three and below. I'm still missing a couple of uh, default four uh, four star mobile suits, but. You know, I've been saving all these uh, default two stars. I want to make some videos, just have some fun, and uh, just show you what these things can do. But I would say there's not one good part on this uh, mobile suit. Uh, I think everything can really just be trash, which I'm going to be doing. But if you are looking to increase, like, your maybe a uh, middle shooter, and you're like, hey, I would love to increase my middle shooter um, special attack for my machine gun or something like that, hey, definitely go right ahead and use some of those parts that actually contribute to that. Uh, otherwise, I'm not really worried about it, and uh, I'm, pro I'm pretty much just going to trash it. But, hey, that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you all for watching. Uh, if you do like this content, definitely let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you have a particular mobile suit you want to uh, see get fe uh, featured, let me know in the comment section below as well. But Gusan is going to be probably Thursday, and then I'm looking at Saturday being Artemis. Um, so that's, that's, that's my schedule right now, but if you do have something in mind for maybe Tuesday of next week, uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see. But that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.